think it's quite an unusual and original uh, plan because it's very consistent, pretty simple in terms of vision with three clear goals. I mean, for the country to become a real hub, they have the foundations for that. The port, the airport, the <coughs> digital infrastructure, the financial first uh, platform, uh, but to become a real uh, well-connected hub in terms of logistics and in terms of immaterial uh, fl flows like uh, financial flows being the, the center for uh, regional uh, decisions there. And I think it's credible because it has started. I mean, they have already achieved a lot. So in terms of methods, they have started to show the, the results. The, and, and then they have new goals to, 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 go, to go forward. So it's simple in terms of the, 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 the first goal. The second goal, which is to develop the value chain in agriculture and develop manufacturing and value added is something which is necessary everywhere uh, in sub-Saharan Africa. We, I mean, it's a key uh, for uh, tackling uh, poverty. Uh, it's absolutely essential, this value-added uh, <coughs> process. And again, they have a few credentials. The, 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 the free zone, industrial zone in Lomé is full. Uh, in a few countries around, it is empty. Uh, so it has been proven that uh, they can. Uh, they have some mining uh, resources in phosphates, for instance, uh, and, and others in the north of the country. But <coughs> more importantly, the value chain in agriculture is something they have, they have proven. And in terms of inclusive growth, they have achieved also, in the recent past, they have achieved some interesting results in terms of uh, medical progress or in terms of uh, reducing uh, the, the, the poverty level. But as in each of our countries, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, I'm, I'm from Benin, the sister, sister country, uh, you are from Nigeria, we have in common uh, whatever the gifts of nature or human resources, we have in common uh, a certain number of, of, of clear challenges uh, about employment, for, for, for the youth and reducing poverty. Absolute numbers uh, in terms of um, uh, extreme poverty. And I think they have a clear vision and path. Now they have to implement that. All right, then looking at how they're going to implement this, very interested how they plan to incorporate the private sector into this. I'd like you to speak to this strategy on how, of how getting the private sector involved in this development plan. I think they, they are quite ambitious in this respect to say uh, two thirds of the funding uh, of, of this plan will uh, be supplied by the private sector. Uh, but I think it's again something which is credible because in their national accounts, 27% of the GDP is investment, which is a high figure. Uh, in general, Sub-Saharan Africa has a high level of investment in GDP, less than China. Uh, but far more than uh, Europe or more than Latin America. I mean, we are among the countries with a higher level of savings and investment. It's a bit counterintuitive, but it is the case. And uh, Togo at 27% is at a high level, and it is made of domestic resources first. So when we say private sector, we have to have in, uh, in mind that the private sector in Togo is first the domestic private sector. Around 10% of GDP in investment comes from there. The foreign uh, uh, inflow of capital is essential in qualitative terms, but it's half the domestic investment. And you have the same in Nigeria, we have the same in Benin. First, people have to understand that the, the, the growth in Africa today is uh, endogenous. It's done of uh, our private sector, domestic one, private sector already a quite significant commitment. Be it informal sector, by the way, or very formal and large companies, large, we have our first Pan-African 
multinational groups. But we have also a, a, a large part of investment which is done of SMEs, of small, small companies. And I think that this blend of private sector committed domestically and attractiveness to uh, larger investors, bro <coughs> I mean, bringing technologies or new, new products, new processes, uh, it's also very, very, very important. And that altogether is already there. So the question is, can we step up a bit? All right, then as we look to step up, I'm looking at the imp implementation. It's not a very, it's not an easy task. We see these, the three pillars, you know, it means uh, there are a lot of government agencies w w that are gonna be involved. It strikes a strong leadership question, you know, getting all the parties to work together with the private sector to bring out the best from this national plan. How do you see this as a task for the government? I think that in, 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 in Togo, you have a culture of delivery. I deliver the public policies which is probably a bit higher than in, um, in, in some, some countries. You see, uh, our growth in Africa is more differentiated depending on the efficiency and the delivery of public policies. Everybody sees and knows that in Rwanda, or in Ethiopia, or in Namibia, uh, uh, you have uh, uh, a differential uh, in growth, which is explained by the ability to deliver. And I think that Togo in our region is among the ones who are a, a bit efficient. But we have to, uh, we need a step change if we want to deliver something as ambitious as, as the, P, the PND. A, a digital government, which is a bit ahead uh, of the group of, of countries around in Togo, but a digital government will, will help. Uh, the fact that they have undertaken uh, economic reforms in terms of business environment, it's, it's not yet uh, reaching the top uh, 20, top uh, 30 countries, um, but clearly they have made more progress than many countries uh, in, in, the, in the recent past. I would say in terms of vision and in terms of uh, uh, credentials, um, they are among the, the credible countries. They do not come back from that far uh, in terms of implementation, but I agree, delivery, execution uh, will be absolutely key in Togo, 